Hey everyone, welcome back to the Webnestify YouTube channel. I'm Simon and here at Webnestify we help business owners and tech savvy professionals simplify web infrastructure, improve site performance and stay ahead with the smart digital tools. In today's video we are going to unpack a powerful but often overlooked DNS feature, CNAME flattening. If you ever wanted to manage your DNS more efficiently, especially at the root domain or create a single point of truth for your DNS records, this technique you will want to understand. And now it's also important to note that not all DNS providers support CNAME flattening. But in this video we will be focusing on how it works with Cloudflare, which is the one of the most popular DNS provider around. That said, the core principles are the same across DNS platforms that offers this feature. So even if you are not using Cloudflare, this will be still valuable. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly what CNAME flattening is, why it matters, and how to use it to streamline your DNS management like a pro. So let's get started. first thing what you need to get is the server IP. It does not matter what panel or solution you are using, it can be Enhance, xCloud, RunCloud, GridPane, it really doesn't matter. This technique supports basically everything. So what you need to get first is the server IP address. And then we go back to our DNS provider, which is Cloudflare. You can use all the providers which support CNA flattening. And what we are going to add is a master DNS record that will control basically everything. So let me zoom in a little bit. So the record type will be A. And for example, we can name this server production and we're gonna paste the IP address. You can enable proxy, you don't need to, it's completely up to you, but we can keep it enabled and we click save and now we have our master DNS record for all websites on our production server. I hope it makes sense for you. And what we can now do, we can go back to panel and we can now install our web application. So let me click at the website and uh, we're gonna add domain webnestify.uk. We can click add. What we need to do is make sure you know this server production.webnestify.cc. And when we go to our DNS on our older website, which we added, we can remove all of those old records. And we can add, but first we will need to add CNAME record for our root domain. So it will be CNAME, name will be root, and it will be server, server production, webnestify.cc. You can also keep, keep the proxy enabled, it's fine. And as you can see, webnestify.uk points to our master DNS record which has our server IP. And let's also add the same for the www. So it's gonna be www and it will be pointing to the root. That's fine. So, and now what we can do, we can go click here and we can generate less encrypt. Let's just wait. And also we can add another website let me add uh, test2.webnestify.uk and we can go back to Cloudflare and we're gonna name CNAME and it's gonna be like test2 and it's gonna point again to our master DNS record. So it's gonna be server production, webnestify.cc we can click save and 
this is really great technique, for example, if you're managing two, three, or hundreds of websites. It makes DNS management seriously easy. For example, if you will migrate your website somewhere else, you don't need to go to each single website in your DNS and change the IP manually. You can just change the master IP on your master DNS record that we set up on webnestify.cc and then all websites will take instantly the new server IP. So this is seriously a time saver. It makes your DNS management really, really simple. And to understand this, I think there's uh, nothing else to say as it is pretty straightforward and yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that's it uh, for this short video, but uh, many of you also asked how to manage uh, DNS better way and i found that this is the most efficient way how you can manage hundreds thousands ten thousands or even ten websites like a, a professional so we don't spend time you don't make any mistakes and also one great benefit is if you don't control your customer dns you can just send to customer to put the c name and if their provider supports it then you still can control their DNS. You don't need to ask them to change the IP address or do this, do that. You are controlling your master DNS record for your server. And also, if you have a development server or three, four, five servers, you can just add multiple A records to different IP address and point of sites to there. So yeah, it's really simple and straightforward. So yeah, I really hope uh, that you like this uh, short video. I hope you understand it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below, or you can join the Webnestify Discord when, where you can ask me questions, chat, provide suggestions for new videos, etc., etc. So thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one.